guys, I'm Tiffany. Welcome to The Cinematic Reviewer. Today I'm sharing my review on Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This movie was absolutely amazing. I loved it. It it really is so good. There's no way this movie is overhyped. It's just absolutely fantastic. And I do have my first thoughts after I left the theater, so I'll be sharing that right after this intro. But I do have one criticism that I will be talking about after that review, so please stay tuned. I loved Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse so much. It was such a great movie. I really, really enjoyed Into the Spider-Verse, but honestly, Across the Spider-Verse definitely surpassed it. This one was so amazing, and it's so nice that a sequel actually surpassed the original. It just doesn't happen all that often. I loved the humor of the movie. Now, I certainly enjoy humor in movies, but it's been a very long time since I've actually laughed out loud with new movies. And I was laughing out loud so many times. It was so funny and it was just so great. The animation was excellent. I, you know, like I could not look away for a second in every single frame. There was so much going on. And it was very nice to learn more about Gwen in her universe as Spider-Woman. And I liked learning a little bit more about Miles. I think the focus in this movie on him was very well done. And the plot was excellent. I was very interested and hooked. There's really nothing bad I can say about this movie. But I will say, and seriously, you guys need to go see the movie and then come back and share your thoughts on the movie but the ending when it turns out that it's actually a part one and two that like it's to be continued we're not actually getting an ending I was like I was seething I was like no I need to know what happens next but it was so well done this movie was absolutely amazing like this deserves more than a 10 out of 10 I'm talking an 11, a 15, 10,000. Like, come on, this movie was perfection. It was so great. I definitely want to do a rewatch of the first one. And then, honestly, like, I typically don't go to the theaters again for a movie, but I really do want to see the movie again. And it's especially cool the fact that there's actually multiple versions of the movie in theaters. So, I don't know. Like, I hope if I do end up going to the theater again, that I would see a different version of it. But this movie was absolutely amazing. And another really great thing about it is it didn't feel like it was two hours and 20 minutes. Like, I was so hooked with it. It was just so good. You know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. And this movie was definitely a reflection of that. Yeah, like all the positive things you could say about a movie, this one definitely deserves. It was so amazing. And I really do hope, I mean, I personally don't really give all that much validity to the Oscars or the Emmys or any of those award shows. It's just like, yeah, it's rich people making their opinions and deciding that those people get awards. Like, who cares? But I do agree with what people are saying. This one needs to be nominated and hopefully win Best Picture. It was absolutely amazing. Honestly, I think now not only is it like my favorite Spider-Man movie now, it's definitely up there in one of my favorite movies. Like this was so, so well done. I also really, really enjoyed the music they had in the movie. I wasn't the biggest fan with some of the music that they had in the first one but this one like there wasn't a single song that I didn't like it was so well done and it really worked for like every music choice they chose it worked for the scene which was very nice yeah there's it, this just was like one of the most perfect movies it was absolutely amazing awesome fantastic the whole nine yards it's just Oh, it's so great. But I do very much look forward to seeing the next one. But it sounds like we're going to have to wait quite a while, which I'm fine. I'm fine with waiting, but I'm very much anticipating the sequel. So the one criticism I do have to say is 
Now this is a personal preference. I just wasn't the biggest fan. Like I'm sure for other people they enjoyed it. But for me I was just a little like eh. So obviously in that whole thing where it's like all the spider people and everything and so then they had some live action additions. I just wasn't really feeling it. I mean the one with Venom it was like whatever. It was like so tiny so it's like not that big of a deal. But they kept showing Donald Glover and I get why. You know, that whole thing where it's like, yeah, what if Donald Glover was Spider-Man? Awesome, yeah. Like, I get it, but it didn't even seem like he was happy to be there. And maybe that was the point. They were, like, like the character they were going for, he's bummed out to be in the cage. I get that. But just for me, I was a little like, can you at least try to pretend you're excited to be in this movie? I don't know. I was a little disappointed by the energy he was giving while he was there. But I do think it was cool to see the OGs, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, that was really neat to see, very exciting. But otherwise, absolutely amazing. I loved this movie, it was so fantastic and amazing and awesome and all the great things you could say about a movie, that's what that movie deserves. Like seriously, like a top tier movie, absolutely fantastic. Now I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, so be sure to let me know down below in the comments. That is about it for my review on Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment below, and if you liked this video and would like to see more movie content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time!